A year on, we can still feel the devastating impact of COVID-19 all over the world. I still remember how I felt the moment I tested positive with COVID. My wife and I were new parents and we had a four-month-old baby at home. And it was a very harrowing experience for all of us here. But we see hope in how the world pulled together so quickly to accelerate science, research and vaccines to help and protect lives around us. As I recovered, it wasn't a question of whether I should get involved or not. It was always a question of how much more I could do. The only important thing was to save lives. Bouncing back to a pre-COVID world is just not an option. Time is short to prevent bigger devastations to come. We must act now with a sense of purpose. By guiding our capital, to catalyze new solutions to these global threats and forge a better tomorrow. Even as we did our part to help with COVID-19 initiatives, we kept the full agenda as an investor, institution and steward. As global equity markets rebounded strongly from the lows of March last year, we saw investment returns boosted by shifts in behaviour resulting from COVID-19. Our portfolio also benefited as several of our unlisted companies went public. As at 31st March 2021, our net portfolio value was 381 billion Singapore dollars, up 75 billion over the year. Our one-year total shareholder return was 24.53%, with longer-term 10-year and 20-year TSR at 7% and 8%. Our TSR since our inception in 1974 was 14%. COVID-19 has not derailed our plans to prepare for the future. It simply accelerated the longer-term trend that we have been seeing. Over the year, we refresh and sharpen our focus around four key investment trends. Digitization and sustainable living are trends that will have a pervasive impact across many sectors. The future of consumption reflects shifts in consumption types and patterns. While longer lifespan focus on growing needs driven by longevity. We invested in Tezan, a creative cloud platform based in China. In line with our focus on sustainable living, we invested in Ever Technologies, a Canada-based company that has developed an innovative system to harvest the Earth's heat to generate clean energy. We also invested in Tokopedia, which has since been merged with Gojek, to form GoTo Group. It serves Southeast Asia's growing internet savvy, and we invested in German biotech company BioNTech that co-developed the COVID-19 vaccine with Pfizer, and that's used globally today. Our role as an investor is to allocate capital responsibly, to drive sustainable returns. We also have to catalyze new opportunities for big unmet challenges. We can put it very simply. There's not going to be any returns on a dead planet. There's not gonna be any returns if societies fail. If we want to be successful in the long term as an investor, we need to make sure that our environment stays intact and our societies flourish. As a firm, we have achieved carbon neutrality since two years ago. We are working to reduce our portfolio emissions to half the 2010 levels by 2030 and net zero emissions by 2050. We partnered Mandai Park Holdings to co-sponsor Mandai Nature Fund. It supports nature conservation and climate change mitigation in Asia. Even as we're thinking about the planet, we are not forgetting about underserved communities as well. We stepped up our efforts in impact investing, joining hands with impact investment group Leapfrog Investments. Through this, we aim to catalyze solutions that will uplift communities all over the world. As we continue to evolve to meet the challenges of our rapidly changing world, so too do our people. Our AI and blockchain ports are continuing to grow and expand their capabilities. 
So we founded Affinity, which is a technology company that leverages blockchain technology. Its purpose is to create and share portable and verifiable data credentials. We have been trialling a digital verification solution for COVID-19 tests at check-in for air travellers. We also established a new centre of excellence in artificial intelligence to build deep expertise in AI and work with our portfolio companies to deliver better commercial outcomes. Our new strategic development initiative is also identifying and leading investments in emerging science and technology innovation. As we progress as an organisation, we need to give back to our communities and bring them along. We believe that we can thrive only when the communities around us thrive. In such challenging times, this is even more important. We've set aside funds that will go towards activating programmes for the community and for their benefit. Over the year, we deployed a portion of these funds towards COVID-19 initiatives. Partnering to Masik Foundation and others, we continued to strengthen the resilience of our communities. The BYOB Clean or Bring Your Own Bottle initiative encouraged households in Singapore to collect free hand sanitizer. Regional partners also helped us cover Johor and the Riau Islands nearby. More than 1.3 million litres of hand sanitizer were distributed in total, including to hospitals, residential care homes and migrant workers. We also worked with our partners to support regions that have been particularly hit by COVID. For example, in Brazil, we provided about 40 hospitals with ventilators, oxygen concentrators and surgical masks. And in India, we secured and airlifted thousands of oxygen concentrators, oximeters and other essential medical supplies to support vulnerable communities across the country. Tamasic has evolved and transformed over the years, always seeking to remain relevant. We are committed to providing catalytic capital and making a difference. By deploying financial capital to drive innovation. By developing human capital to enhance potential. By rallying social capital to transform lives. And by enabling natural capital for a better environment. So let us continue to stay resilient as always and bounce forward to a new world together. together.